Thanks for staying with us. Today we're discussing parenting. We're discussing entitlement and children. Entitlement, especially with kids who are born in privileged homes. Um, how entitled are they and how can parents help to curb this um, character of entitlement? So recently, um, an American rapper, 50 Cent, spoke out, as he's always done for many years, about the biggest, his biggest enemy, which is his son. He said, according to him, he said, my son has entitlement and mentality, thinking my money is his. It hurts to see him so irresponsible. I keep saying this publicly, hope he'll be ashamed and then can start working. No matter how rich you are, never let your kids feel your money belongs to them. So our discussion today is about entitlement and our children, especially those of us who are um, so trying to have a bit of privilege for them. You know, they, we're giving them what we didn't have. We're trying to make lives better for them. We've had situations where um, children feel that um, they, are, they are rich. They feel like I'm a rich kid, you know? And it, it, sometimes it's important for parents to remind them um, who owns the money. <laughs> but let's, let, let's have a conversation because I remember recently, um, Ramatu was talking about how our kids were out of the house and um, you had the big fish to yourself. <laughs> you know, you ate some, you left it, you came back, it was still exactly where you left it, you know? And kids, if the kids were around, they'll feel like all of us own this fish, all of us, no, you bought it for us. And they have no respect. They will take the biggest portions because, hey, it's our it's fish now. Fish. But they were not around and it was yours. So that example reminded me that, listen, so maybe we need to start having this conversation of entitlement. How far should our children feel entitled to our own wealth or, or properties? Let's have a conversation. You can call us on 081 0764 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC. So we're going to read the tweets. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who would like to go first? VC? What are okay. your thoughts on this? Yeah. So I think um, entitlement is um, a learned behavior most of the mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. and is also enabled. So everybody from time to time will be selfish. Everybody from time to time will push their boundaries. But how you respond to them pushing the boundaries is what, it's what will either enable entitlement or what will put a stop to it. Mm -hmm. So in raising children, it's very important that we make it known that it's not just money that I'm bringing to the table as your parent. I also want to you know, take a look at this 50 cent situation or also knowing that he didn't really stay with the boy in the first place. Probably all he has ever seen was him sending money for upkeep and all of that. And so he saw him in that light of once we look for ATM, his daddy we are dragging, right? But if he had probably been in the life of the boy, changed his diaper, taking him to school in nursery school, played games with him and all of that. He would see him for more than his money, right? So this could be a part of it. But generally speaking, because uh, this entitlement is all over the world, yeah. it's in our homes, it's in our offices, it's everywhere, where people just feel entitled to what you own. It's because over the years, we have enabled them to feel that way. So uh, you're in your home, uh, your child wants this, you dish it, he wants that, you dish it. The day you say no, he starts throwing terrible tantrums. And because you don't want, you cannot process that tantrum, so you can just give him to make him happy. You are enabled that entitlement. We've had siblings also who are entitled to their siblings' money. They feel that, ah, but you are making it now. You, you, it's you that God has blessed. So God has blessed you so that you can bless us. And then they keep making demands and making demands. And every time you try to help them start up a business, it fails. Put them in a work, they mess up. You know, because they believe that after all you are there. There's a sister there or there's a brother there that will always mm. bail me out. And that's because we've been enabling it. So it's a learned behavior and yeah. we can correct it. And we start that correction very, very early. I always tell my son, I say, this house where you did not be your own. Mm -hmm. You go go build your own because this one is my husband's house. All they say is, uh, in case you are hearing outside his father's house, there's nothing like that. Too. <laughs> I, I, will, I will show you shege. You will. In fact, mm -hmm. I used to tell him that you are on rent in this house. Very soon I'll start collecting my rent. Ah, mommy, I say yes. Very soon I'll start collecting money. You will start contributing, you'll be working and be paying for stuff in the house so that you know it's not your house. You quickly go and get your own house. He take, when he takes things without permission, yeah. there was a punishment that I used to stop that behavior because I realized that he would just walk into the kitchen and he would take something and he would not ask. Yeah. And when I now need that thing, they say, ah, he has taken it. I said, okay, anything he takes that I did not ask for, he will pay for. By the time he paid close to 20,000, that habit has stopped yeah. naturally because I do not want to raise a child who is entitled 
to what I am working for. If I choose to give you, I give you. When it's time to give you, I will give you. But for you to now feel I'm working for you, right. bah, okay. it's not going to work. Let me go on a very short break. When we come back, we'll get some other comments from the ladies. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.